Hello, my name is Nathan Beckert, and you're going to be laughing at me of, like, what I'm saying right now. It's, like, one forty in the morning. It's blackout. Uh, so, the time that I'm going to be uploading this, this is going to be black screen, but... Say if you see me uh, playing Call of Duty and it's not black screen, then it's the game of Call of Duty. Now I'm going to be planning on uh, downloading uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Zombies onto my computer. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, though... Let's just chit-chat over the topic towards um, The Exorcist. The Exorcist, The Exorcist, The Exorcist. Now, how should I start? Do you know, like, when the guy entered her house, she went down the stairs and she was like, uh, what are you doing here? And he said, I'm sorry, but Bob is dead. And she went towards the wall, and she says, no. And she hit the wall, right? Like, the thing that I didn't get is, like, when she looks back, and she's, like, so, so sad, right? And he leaves out the door, but transition. When the transition happened, I was at, like... What in the actual, like, seriously, man, a transition? I already know, like, what happens when she looks over. Her daughter is literally backwards walking down the stairs with her hands and legs, with blood pouring out of her mouth. Now, that was the scene cut out. And I don't know... Why I think it's excuse they say, oh, we had to wait until a better year to publish that type because the lighting, really lighting, that that that's your excuse. Maybe it was the lighting, I don't know, but still, maybe CGI as well, because CGI was a big thing uh, later towards the future that people just couldn't get right back in the day. So, The Exorcist is an old film, but I give people credit because, my God, it is terrifying. But sort of like one of those moments, like from The Grinch, um, when Jim Carrey is dressed as The Grinch, and, like, when he came from his cave, and he's, like, dancing all in that crowd, right? And then... It shows him a scene when he's chugging alcohol and they're egging him on and he's just chug, chug, chug. <laughs> and there was this also part that was cut out when the dad went to sit on the chair. He says, listen, we all had all bad times in school. When he got up, he, he was stuck in the chair. And also the light... I uh, house uh, competition as well that was cut out so many things like got cut from the movie it just i don't get why people have to cut sort of like avatar i don't know why in the hell they had to cut these good scenes out of avatar i know some of the scenes like say for example the ponytails that they had to put together uh to um, put together the love, that didn't really make sense, including when the when the Avatar guy fell so far and he was still alive, but a stick went through him. Come on, falling for so many feet, but like a thing that really hooded me the most when uh, what the scenes that they took him out was um the chick uh, that smoked cigarettes. Now, her backstory, all of it got cut out 
and like it tells like it tells you what Kyoto and who she was back then like she was the first one that went towards the tribe of the avatars and they, she created a school for them and she had all of them um, come out to school a bunch of times teaching them and stuff there was this last time that was a conflict and the humans fought with the avatars and that's when they had to leave and there was a shootout. A couple of them died or whatever. Like, first, when they went there, or when they saw it in ruins, she didn't want to talk about it. He was, he was uh, talking about what are these gun hole bullets doing on the chalkboard. She didn't want to talk about it. She went off to a different subject. But during the time when they sat down and chit-chat, he was looking at all these pictures she told him of what happened. And that's what hit me hard. When she died, she died for no purpose at all. Because they cut most of her character, like, serious. I hate when movies do that, but they have to, like, at the time, because it has to be, like, a specific time a movie has to be. And that's why they have to cut some of the footage out in order to um, fit whatever to make it a film. But I look at it, it's not okay. Hollywood is greedy and, and the publishers and stuff. It's just, that's how it can fit onto television, I, I guess. I, I, I'm not really 100% sure. Even said the Grinch, like, some of the stuff, like, if they added it in there, then it would have been an all-rated film. Well, like Scooby-Doo, for example, when they kidnapped, uh, was it Velma or was it um, Daphne? Anyway, it was one of those two. And they showed uh, how they took the spirit out um, of the being and transported it into the monster. You see, but like... They could have um, made it a uh, more mature age, so that's the reason why they cut the scene out. See, some of the scenes that they cut out in movies make sense, but, like, there, there's a lot of times they they do that, and they they just do a fuck-up. I, I, I mean, I... It's not really a big problem for me, but, like, if I want to know knowledge, even during the time, I know the starting was a little slow at some times in the bar fight. Come on, the bar fight in Avatar, like. But, like, it was getting towards his character, like, he didn't really like shit going down with men beating on women, you see? But, like... Come on, he he wasn't uh, right as well, but, like, he went through a path and he turned out to be a better character and he progressed. See, this is how uh, people, um, characters, or whatever you can call them, um, be better at um, in the films that they are. That's it's called character building people. It's common freaking sense, and if more of the stories are, are cut out, then what's the purpose of understanding and having feelings of that exact character like passing? You know, it's just ah, uh, it's just it's just devastating. As for the avatar that fell, I mean. It seemed like that that was a sad uh, a sad end for him, you know? Even how the music was going, even when he was falling. See that? Snap my finger, that's the best, you know? Um, but Avatar, like, had a lot of scenes they were trying to work with, but th there was a lot cut out of that movie. It's just, oh my god, like, I could just go on forever, but, like, there's gotta be 
some point doing this video, I have to stop, and that is right now. I hope you guys enjoy. So there's gonna be two cuts. There's gonna be this version, and if it's not the version that I'm talking about right now, that is black screen, and it is the actual game that I'm actually playing. Now I'm sorry, but the huge joke that it is, I don't have a mic. I don't have a mic. So I have to use my phone, and I have to upload the audio two times. One in audio format, well, basically you see it in black screen, and another with it over the game. Now maybe it's going to be one video entirely because I'm not going to be able to find Windows Movie Maker because they don't have it anymore, so I have to find it off somebody else. What people do is they save it, um, on a site of their choosing and for for others or download it or whatever and I just have to pick the right one. It's a lot of researching and it just can go on forever. So right now I'm just going to sleep, but my God, there's so many times that you just can't think. I mean, there's so many times that... <laughs> You're up all night and you're just thinking, right? And just, oh man, I can't think about sleep right now. I just need to do this now. I need to do this now. I just need to write so I can remember. Even being an animator, oh my God. I have a lot to do tomorrow. My God, peace.